this lesson we're going to be covering how to create a custom UI item within your spreadsheet and the one that we've created is called my menu and what it does it's got two options so we can sort ascending or descending it's going to take the contents from column one and do the sort so this is the sort ascending and then this is the sort descending so it updates all of the content that we have within the spreadsheet let's try another one here where we do the ascending so it's sorted the contents starting at column one ascending or we could sort it descending so this gives you some options that you can create a customized ui within your menu for this example you're going to need a bound script because we're going to be working with the sheet ui this is a sheet that i'm going to be interacting with and we're going to add a menu item into the ui so let's go ahead and we're going to select a function and the on open function is a function that's going to run on default whenever the spreadsheet is opened up so whenever that document is opened up and then we're going to select and create a menu so using the spreadsheet app service we get the ui object and this is what we can use in order to create a menu so let's select the ui and then select create menu and then give the menu an option a tab caption name and this is going to be expecting a string and i'll just call it my menu so that's our menu ui and then taking the menu let's go ahead and we're going to add some items into it and these are captions once again for each one of the items in the menu and then the second parameter is going to be the function name so that's going to be the function name that we've got within the apps script and we'll add an ascending and also a descending option within the menu so we're going to have two options in the drop down menu so that's going to be ascending and then do one that's descending and then we need to create the corresponding functions and then in order to add it to the ui object we use the add ui method and we what we want to do is we want to create functions now that are going to be named sort ascending and they're going to have that functionality and then also sort descending so create the two functions that we've indicated in the menu make sure that the string values are going to be matching the function names and then we want to select the sheet so we don't want to capitalize that and selecting the sheet using the spreadsheet app we're going to get the active sheet so whatever the active sheet currently is when the user presses the ui menu and then we want to select the range and the range is going to be the entire sheet contents so get the data range of the sheet and then using the range we do have a sort object method and we can set the sort and how we want to sort it so we're going to sort it using the column one and then ascending and that's expecting a boolean value so we'll set that to true so that's the sort ascending and then also let's update and we'll set the sort descending as well so same idea that we're getting the sheet and then we're doing a sort on the sheet and this is also going to be using the column one but in this case it's going to be false so you can refresh your spreadsheet and this will open automatically so we refresh the sheet there's the menu that's showing up so the sort ascending sort descending so let's go ahead and we're going to try that out so we're doing a sort ascending and that's going to sort all of the content using column number one ascending so you don't even need to make a selection or we could do a descending sort as well so let's try it on some of the other sheets that we have so again we can just simply select the ascending and the descending and it's automatically sorting the content that we have within the spreadsheet that we've selected and so this is one of the options that you can add and when you create a custom menu within google apps script